सो हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल यू कैन सी दिस इज द एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप फॉर कौची कॉन्स्टेंट सो फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी रिक्वायर दिस इज द मर्क्यूरी वेपर लैम्प और द सोर्स एंड हियर इज द स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर एंड दिस इज द प्रिजम सो वी हैव टू कीप द मर्क्यूरी वेपर लैम्प that is uh, inserted in this wooden box and we have to adjust the spectrometer so that we must get the slit we can observe the slit width from this telescope so once we adjust the slit width uh, to the cross mark of this telescope we have to keep the prism on this prism table so here to find out the angle of minimum deviation of this prism we have to focus this telescope so that so we when we observe from this telescope that slit width must cross over this cross line you can see the slit width is crossing uh, over the cross line of this telescope you should know the parts of the spectrometer this is telescope and this is the prism table and this is the collimator we have the leveling screw for telescope also and to fix the prism table and also for the collimator you can also adjust the slit width here is the mercury source here is the slit you can adjust the slit width using this knob and here there are two scales main scale and vernier scale so this uh, all uh, uh, about 360 degree the rotating scale and vernier scale we have 30 divisions this for clockwise direction and anti clockwise direction also you have to do you have to take the two readings to find out the angle of prism so reading of the left r1 reading of uh, the right r2 for right r1 so left side we have to move the telescope here so we need to adjust the slit width once we get the value of r1 and r2 we can calculate the angle of prism here so reading of the left 295 degree and reflected image r2 uh, if we subtract these two and divide it by 2 we will get the angle of prism it is around 60 degree so after calculating the angle of prism we have to determine the angle of prism minimum deviation for different colors so we have to place again the prism as shown here In between 50 and 55, maybe 53 something. Not. Hmm. hmm. 53. 53. So, record is to work with you. Are you finite? Are the lines? Yeah. Huh? Yes, finite. Yes. Test one, sir. Yes. In a matter. Ah, in a. So here we can see the. seven colors with gr that is violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red so we have to keep this uh, telescope we have to note down the position of the different colors here with the help of this spectrometer so to note down this position of the each spectral line we should know the spherometer least count so least count of spherometer is 1 minute how we can calculate that 
first we should know the number of divisions on main scale and vernier scale so you can see uh, the main scale if you take uh, 200 to 190 so 10 degree okay 10 degree difference is there so within that uh, there are 20 marks or 20 divisions then uh, vernier scale if you take 0 to 30 30 divisions on vernier scale so on the basis of that we can calculate the spherometer least count so if you take uh, each small division that is equal to half degree okay there are 20 marks so 10 uh, that is 10 degree 10 by 20 half degree and if you take uh, the vernier scale 0 to 30 that covers around 14.5 degree okay so let us do the calculation you can understand so least count of this spherometer is 1 minute so here is the formula least count is equal to ms remain scale division minus vernier scale division so main scale division is uh, one main scale division is 30 minute and one vernier scale division is 29 minute so difference is 1 minute so how we can get this so main scale as i said 10 degree covers 20 marks 20 uh, divisions are there on the main scale of uh, as i said 1 200 to 190 degree so 10 degree covers 20 marks so one mark covers how many degree 10 by 20 that is half degree so 1 degree is equal to how many minutes 60 minute so half into 60 30 minutes so main scale division as we written one main scale division is equal to 30 minute so then vernier scale so 30 division covers how many degree 14.5 degree 30 divisions on vernier scale so one mark covers how many degree 14.5 divided by 30 okay here degree we should write so 14.5 divided by 30 one degree is equal to 60 minute so multiply by 60 you will get uh, 2 here 2 into 14.5 29 minute so that's why main scale division is equal to 30 minute vernier scale division 29 minute so the difference is 1 minute so this is the least count of the spherometer once you know the least count you can calculate the uh, spectral position of each color using uh, this formula total reading is equal to msr plus cvd into least count so here is the tabular column for the angle of minimum deviation uh, for different spectral lines so here is the are the colors of the spectral lines violet blue green yellow red so wavelength of spectral line so these are the standard values for particular color you should uh, write down them and take the 1 by lambda square so this is wavelength lambda so take the ratio of 1 by lambda square uh, so 1 divided by lambda square you have to do calculate and write down in the tabular column so i already explained the how to calculate the total reading uh, from the spectrometer so for different colors so use the total reading formula that is msr plus cvd into least count you can calculate the uh, spectrometer reading for different colors i note down the position of the each spectral line on the spectrometer then this uh, reading for direct ray this is the reading for direct ray when you start the experiment uh, you are going to adjust the slit width to the cross mark of the spectrometer so at that time you should note down the direct ray reading okay without keeping the prism on the prism table you have, you should note down so and the next you are you can calculate uh, here uh, the angle of minimum deviation for different spectral colors 
you should uh, subtract here uh, here this direct ray reading value in the spectrometer reading for different colors then you can write down here angle of minimum deviation uh, take that as capital D and then refractive index you can calculate for different colors there is a formula to calculate refractive index so here is the formula to calculate refractive index that is mu is equal to sin of a plus delta m by 2 so sin divided by sin a by 2 so a is the angle of minimum deviation that is around 60 degree you will get so delta m as you have calculated the minimum deviation for different colors in the tabular column so here is the formula to calculate the Cauchy constant that is mu is equal to a plus b by lambda square if you plot the graph of refractive index versus 1 divided by lambda square you will get the straight line that touches to the y axis and the uh, intercept it is denoted by capital A which you are going to take along y axis and the slope of the straight line if you calculate uh, you are going to mention it as b so this equation uh, for calculating Cauchy constant is quite uh, similar to the straight line equation y is equal to mx plus c so here y is equal to mu refractive index x is equal to 1 divided by lambda square uh, and where m is equal to v slope m is equal to b and intercept C is equal to capital A where A and B are the required Cauchy constants so from this experiment they have calculated the Cauchy constants after plotting the graph they got value of A and B